Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to explore latest Appian release notes that is Appian 25.1 version. So recently Appian has released the 25.1 version and it is packed with some really great and exciting features. So one by one we will try to explore the important features and see it in action and how they will help us in our day to day development as well. So let's get started. The very first feature that we are going to start here is with our data fabric change. There has been a lot of changes in the data fabric as well. So we will go and see that what are those changes. The very first change is that sync 10 million rows from 4 million rows. Earlier there was a limit that only 4 million rows can be synced. But now it has been increased to 10 million rows here. So if you remember we used to get question like how will you sync more than 4 million rows. But now the question will change to how will you sync to more than 4 million rows as well. Now let's see that from our record here so when you will go in the records for example LMS book is our record here here you can see that still the option is that sync only the latest 4 million rows of data only there is no 10 million is not written here so see there is a twist in that the twist is that not all the customers of Appian will be able to sync 10 million rows if you are a premium customer or an advanced customer then only you will be able to sync more than 10 million rows here and obviously Obviously, in community doesn't fall under I, any tier I guess so obviously here you won't be able to sync more than 4 million at all. Now let's move on to our next update that has come to the security part of the records to enhance its security. So a new function has also been introduced a bank does user have filled access and this function will check whether the user has filled access or not. So let's see that how does this work here and how it will help in our workflow as well. So let's say that this is our record here a book record is there and in this record if you go down to the security part here here you will see that from earlier we have a record level security and action security but now we have got a fill level security as well and see here once you will select the fill level security you will get all the fields of your table here now there is a huge case that ISBN is a secure number here not everybody should have access to ISBN number so currently if you try to open the record here every detail you will be able to see here see I am able to see the ISBN numbers as well here but now that I want that some users should not have access to ISBN number so basically you have to just go to the edit field security and I want that only users who are let's say that found in the admin group only they should have the access for this particular field here so we will select the administrator here and we will save the changes so currently if you see here as of now there won't be any issue here because I am part of the admin group here now I will go in my application I will remove myself from the admin group let's see that then what happens here please don't try this on in your own main application you will lose the access any application you will lose the access never remove yourself from admin see here as soon as I remove myself from admin I don't have access to the groups at all but now let's try to refresh our records and see that here so if you see all the ISBN numbers are gone here so this is how the field level security is going to work here. Users will be able to see the field but they will not be able to see the data at all here. So this was about the field level security here. Let's move on to our next feature that is extra long data type has come up here which can store up to 64,000 characters. See earlier in Appian there was a limit that when you go to any field record only 4,000 characters you can store. But now if you go to the record here you will be able to see that there is one more field that is called as extra long text as well. So it can store more data. So what is the use of that generally like we need to store you know like large JSON strings, HTML data as well which can easily exceed the character limits so for that particular purpose extra long text can hold a lot of data here and in the customer for example this is a customer here if you go to the ID tab here and see I have tried to show a long string of data here so such a long string of data you can see here now this can be easily stored from the appearance as well earlier we have to go in the database and change the data type from there but now from Appian as well you can create such long data fields here now let's move on to the next part here that is you can use the write records smart service to create or update data in multiple records type in a single database transition that is a very important entry here let's say that this is a customer and I'm going to add a new customer when a new customer is added in the process model I can even write the data into some other records as well so in a single database transaction I can write data into multiple records so if you go in the process model and you will check the write records here here in the 
setup tab, I have tried to enter multiple records here. PB Bank record. PB Bank record is of type of customer here. And LMS book also I am trying to add here directly. So basically it has become a list here. So it can now store multiple records as well and everything it will be able to write it here. So when you actually debug the process for that one, so both of the data fields are going to store in the database here. And if you go in the book tab here, a new entry will get created. See here, Appian release highlights and it is created on 4th March. Multiple data as well, you can now write in a single database transaction. And I guess this, this is going to be very helpful uh, because we use lot of write records again and again. So this will be very helpful for that. The next feature is you can configure unique fields in your service backed record so that you can unlock additional relationship as well. As you are aware that in order to create one to one relationship, it is important that the fields should be unique there. So easily you can configure it now unique fields as well for service backed record. For example, this is a service backed record I am using here and it is triggered from you can see in the expression it is not a database. It is a expression rule here in order to get the data from the API. Here. click on test here and it will give you the data of from the api here all the data are coming here and if you go in the map record fields here you can easily choose your primary fields here and you can make any field as unique as well that you want there so this field we have tried to make it unique and just select the column and finish it and it will automatically try to make your fields unique here so in this way you can explore additional relationships as well because now you have a unique field as well uh, from in your service backed record now next is here sync data in batches urls uri cursors or tokens so every service record can be different here so so basically it will ask you that how do you want to sync the data earlier it was only for the batching part here now they have included more options here so if you go to any service backed record at the time of creation of the record data source you will see the syncing in batches have more options here you can sync with sequential values you can sync with text url or uri if you don't want to sync you can also enable no batching as well all rows will be retrieved here so in this way like you can sync the data as well so, so that was about the sync data in batches one for sync record the next feature is here power up custom record fields with enhanced custom field match so a new function has come up for the custom record fields here so if you go in the record here and if you will try to choose the a bank field match here it will exactly work like how a bank match used to work in appian so, and obviously here we have to use the custom fields uh, functions only so that was major changes about the data fabric here now we will move on to like what changes have been introduced as part of total experience as well so for the total experience changes more changes have come up from the ui side here. see appian is already known for its good uis and all so ui has been a selling point ui in process and with this new release it has even enhanced the ui capability of appians here so there has been lot of changes one by one we will try to see here so buttons now in a small case shape can also be changed from site here so if you see in the site any site that you are going to look for so here earlier we used to get that buttons shape can be rounded here now along with the dialog box shape can also be rounded here so basically if you try to see a, a form here and click on add book here see the form is as well rounded here and it looks much better than before here and one more change is that like buttons can also be in a small case or a small letters as well so it will suit your business needs as well where you need a small case of letters now a new change has come up for the edit table grid so edit table grid rows can now be reordered as well so this is quite interesting feature in edit table grids here earlier we used to you know like let's say like i have to reorder we have to create custom you know like icons here in order to reorder there were multiple clicks as well but now easily it can be reordered see here come at one position and one can come at the second position as well so like this it can be reordered so it is going to have a good impact in front of the business users as well these kind of features now let's move on to our next feature feature that is new margin parameters for forms and look and feel much better see in the forms as well you can add more design here earlier we used to get only forms like this one here and adding colors and, and all that was not a very good option in the forms here but now appian itself is promoting that change here so let me show you like how it works here now i have come to the customer and if you click on new customer you see this is the new forms that appian is promoting here so you can see here the design has completely been changed here create customer details here and the form layout has also been changed here so from now onwards we are going to create much better uis as well 
and let's move on to the next feature that is designing interfaces just got faster so this is a kind of backend change they have added in the release notes that the interface designing has become faster 4x or 5x something like this one now the next change here is new milestone fields available to you. So basically if you go in the milestone part here you will see that this new feature has come up here. Earlier or as well it was part of our component only milestone but it has been updated here. You can choose multiple designs for this one here. For example you can choose the stylus chevron and see how good it looks like. If you click on next here it will show you like what is the active tab and what has been already completed here. So this really looks much better and you can choose different designs for the milestone part as well for example chevron you can choose dot as well has come up here see something like dot is also there so if you want like you can also implement something like dot field here and not only that it can be also made vertical as well so which is really a very uh, great addition earlier we have to make everything custom built like something like this one but now it is coming out of the box next thing here is that now you can format and display multiple record fields in choice level parameters as well so the choice level parameters parameter record back already it was and now you can choose the data from two different records as well and show it there the next change is that forms can now background color and fix header position as well so that we have already seen that see here how good the forms looks like now so the ui has really been a game changer here now let's move on to our next changes that are mostly related to the process hq part share kpi report new ui changes have come up here kpi in process as well we can do it so that we will see it separately here in the ai skills as well lot of new changes has come up here for example more documents can now be processed with less delays so they have made it much faster we will try to explore that how much fast it has actually become and now you can also check the log for the audit here to monitor like what actually is coming in the audit data how it is searching and all so in the audit i have added the screenshot here here you can see that artificial intelligence.csv has been added in the audit files as well now the next thing here is that improvements have also come up for the auto scale as well so step by step playback has been come so that you can easily debug the process as well so let's try to see that how it works for example i have so i have tried to create an auto scale process here basically just create the process model as usual add whatever nodes you want to add and in the properties make sure that the auto scale is checked here use process for auto scaling after that when you try to debug the process here you will be able to see step by step playback for the instance as well so many data are there and we will try to see how it works go to step by step playback and here it will try to get you the historical data and now we have got the node data here so step by step playback is there so see here initially it started with the start node here if you click on next it will go to next node and in this way you can simulate that how appin is running the nodes one by one here click on next here and see it has gone to end node and now it has gone to the next node that is get 100 data and after that it has gone to the other node here and click on next and now it has completed the process here so in this way you can get the step by step playback as well the next change is email alerts will also be sent for the auto scale part here data fabric chatbot in grid see basically you know like in the grids chatbot have been added here if you just go to ui and write chatbot so there is a record chatbot here basically whatever is you know like um, you can configure for your record and user can get out of the box functionality and they can check that what is actually in the records here we don't have to use any plugins or any other things here similarly document chatbot has been been added in order to get information about the document let's say 100 or 200 pages of documents are there so you can chat with the document here and then finally data fabric chatbot is also there so ready to complete relation and everything about the data fabric it will be able to give you so this year's changes have really been great here lot of changes to cover here so I hope that all these uh, release notes were clear to you. There have been a lot of changes. Try to go and explore the changes by yourself here. This will be very important for the interview point of view as well. And that's a wrap on the Appian release highlights. These updates are set to make your Appian experience even better. So that's all for now. We'll meet again in some other video. Thank you.